American Revolution. How we the people here decree we've the right to life and liberty. Hi, this is Diane. You're currently watching the Just Kidding Round Show. Thank you so much for joining us. Each week, we introduce our home viewers to different crafts and hobbies that can be enjoyed by the entire family. We also like to bring in artisans from our community. And today, I have brought in a great one. I'm sitting next to Mr. Alex Young, and he's a very well-known artist, can I say, throughout the United States? Uh, that's exaggerating a little bit. Oh, don't be <laughs> modest. I'll start telling tor stories um, about you. He's, uh, you've won duck stamps, is that right? Washington State. Oh, f is that just Washington State? Washington State duck stamp. Yeah. Washington State duck stamp. He, That's more the salmon stamp. Okay, <laughs> he also, um, every year the governors from each state, so 50 governors get together and they choose a different state every year. And is it true that every time they've chosen Washington State, you have been the commissioned artist to do I did three the poster? You've three done three. Yeah. Okay, they're not going to pick you, Alex, yeah. unless you're good. I don't think you did them with crayon and a coloring book. <laughs> or did you? You'd be surprised I did. Oh, really? Okay. Paint by uh, numbers. Uh, oh, paint by numbers. Oh, that's your secret. Okay, so uh, we're going to look out into the YouTube world. Can you believe that? You're on YouTube. No, it's high to, it's, uh, yeah, okay. I know. I'm no school, so I don't know too much about that. Oh, we'll, we'll get you all fixed up. And uh, is there anybody you want to say hello to? To my grandchildren, Brady, Hunter, Grace, and Alex. Oh, Alex, you have a grandchild named yes, after you. Yes, I do. We're five years old next month. Oh, should I ask? Is that your favorite? They're all my favorite. Oh. Except my granddaughter. She's my favorite granddaughter. She's your favorite granddaughter. Okay. <laughs> but that's kind of cool. You got a grandchild named after you. Anyway, we want to thank you for coming in. And um, I see you have in front of you a black, what is that, cardboard? Mat board. A oh, mat board. And uh, so what medium are you going to be working Pastel. in? Pastel. Pastel. Is that all you do? No. I know you don't. What I've else do you do? I've done it once before, so it's the second time. Okay. Now, over your shoulder, what is, what is that beautiful elk? Is that pastel? That's watercolor. That's watercolor. watercolor. You have amazing detail in that. So you do a lot of watercolor. A lot of them, yes. And I know you've done, um, sculpt. what do you call it, the sculptures? That Bronze. The bronze sculpture. Yeah. So you were commissioned on the freeway. Yeah. Get this. He wasn't commissioned on the freeway. But but when projects are done, the, a certain percentage of the money has to go towards art. Yes. And is it true you made 30 salmon and they're on the, right? Right on the, on the bridge. Right under the bridge yeah. in Bellevue area? At I-90 at, at uh, Northgate. Yeah. The intersection no, uh, of I-90. Yeah, and by Victoria there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and that those were done in bronze. Yes, and they were each one of them was six feet, six right? Feet, yeah. So you did thirty salmon. That that's amazing. So your talent is uh, very encompassing, should I say? Yeah, oh, I guess. <laughs> so you do pastel, watercolor, bronze, and I know you do oil also. I've done oil. Okay, finger painting. Well, I've done that too. Oh, okay, <laughs> and paint my number. In my younger days. All right. <laughs> So, do you want to show us what you're going to do? Well, last time we were here, I did the pastel for the first time, really for the first time. So I figured, hey, that turned out pretty good, so why not give us success? So we do another one today with pastel. So what I have is just a piece of black mat board. So visualize, it's like a, okay. like a velvet painting, visualize. So what I'll do is I'm going to draw something on it. I'm going to do a bouquet of flowers. Hopefully it'll turn out because we we really don't have a lot of time, so I want to do it. So we're gonna do it. Uh... So you're drawing. That is a pencil. That's not pastel, is it? No, this is a uh... color pencil. Color pencil. So you draw first in color pencil, and you're using white. Well, I just get an idea what. Why are you using a black mat? Could you use any? Uh, yeah, I just used, I thought I used black. It kind of more more dramatic. So I'm just gonna, I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. 
Holy I, smokes, you're quick. I've never done it this before, so we'll see. All right, so give a look here. You can see, get an idea of where the thing is. I got a, a vase and I have kind of flowers. So we'll go from there. He so, just now, in less than a minute, sketched out a vase with a bouquet of flowers in it, in case the camera didn't show that. So do you suggest they always use a black mat? Is that more powerful? Oh, no, 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 no. It's, this is, no, it's, uh, you can use any color you want. Any color mat? Yeah. Any thickness? Is there anything special about that mat you're working with? Well, no, it's just something that I have in the house, around the house. Okay. So, like I said, we don't have, I'm going to try to get it done as soon as we can. We're in the time constraint, right? No. <laughs> We can, we can tell them. That's okay. We have lots of time. So here you go. We got two flower dens already. Boy, that sure shows up when you start using those pastels. <clears throat> Are your grandkids talented? Uh, I think they could be if they wanted to. <laughs> uh, Do you think you inherited your talent? Me? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know I have any talents. Do you think people are born more talented than other people? I think certainly people have, uh, uh, what should I say, have a... Uh, Tendency? I think it, I don't know how to work. Like nobody in my family does an artwork except me. I don't know how that... Oh, really? How it came about. I just, uh, I think it's just something that interests. I have great interests ever since I was little. And um, and so I just, you know, just do it. So maybe the interest and the passion comes first, huh? Yeah, I'd, uh, I just want one of those. I was never afraid to, to quote unquote, to ask, to seek out, you know, artists that they can help me. Oh, so you had some great teachers. Yeah, I do. Uh, uh, that matters. Do you yeah. teach yourself? Well, I used to for a while. But Didn't you teach at the local college? Yeah, back in the 80s, 70s, 70s I did. And uh, so I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed teaching, I think. Uh, but I always, uh, like I said, never... Always, you know, if you move this hand, I bet the camera... Could show that. Is that a problem for? Am I being too bossy? Yes, you are. Okay. That, that's okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> they have a camera on your work and your yeah. hand was sort of. So anyway, I don't. I'm just do as I go. So I kind of, like I said, I've never, haven't thought too much about it today. So when that canvas was black, I mean, when the mat board was black, you weren't thinking, oh, I'm going to make an orange flower and a white flower and a. Well, I could. I'm doing orange flower now. You know. I guess next time I come to Elvis, like a velvet. <laughs> <laughs> a velvet no, man. but do you have it in your mind before you start? Or do I have, well, I have, I have some kind of a, I have an idea what I want to do. Okay. But uh, I have, you don't have anything in mind. I mean, like, so. Boy, those pastels are bright. They're brighter than watercolors, aren't they? <laughs> yes, they are. They are very vivid. I think it's uh Yeah. But she, can you get the detail with a pastel that you? Oh can yes, get? this uh, really? like I, said, I, they're amazing, amazing people that does pastel, oh, beautiful, beautiful work. I mean, oh. finely, finely detail. I, I know I look at the thing. I mean, oh, I just don't even how they, oh. so how on earth they, they do that. But oh yes, uh, I wouldn't think one that. of the probably most famous guy that does those. His name is. Daniel Green, I think he's excellent. Daniel Green? Where is, is he from Washington? No, he's back from the East, East oh. Coast. But he's American? Yeah. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Maybe artist. I should get him on the show. Call him uh, next time. Well, yeah, I have no idea where he is, but he sees it back East. Oh. But uh, he does beautiful work. Daniel there. Green. Yeah. I'll look it up on the Internet, see if I can yeah. see his stuff. And he specializes in... Uh, he does a lot of pastels. Pastel. Beautiful, beautiful work. I admire admired the guy. And uh, like I say, I, I do this okay. I mean, it's not Which medium do you think a person should start with if they want to explore their own art? Do you think 
Pastel is a good one to start with. Uh, pencil. Oh, just pencil? Well, pencil drawing is basically the basic, basic fundamental of, of all the all the art. Like black and white pencil, or you mean colored black, pencil? Black and white. I've never because, seen it here. Colored oh, pencil. Next work. time I bring some next time I come and bring some color. Uh, pencil drawing. Because what happened is depends what you want to do is you want to draw a flower, paint a flower, you gotta know how to draw a flower, right? Right. So you know how to draw a flower, you gotta stop the drawings. Yeah. Yeah, so drawing is this. If you're gonna start anything, I think I always stop I always tell people stop with drawing. It's black and white. And then coloring is really is it's nothing. It's just like what they do, just color the thing. Like a, if you give a... Um, so you got the drawing is more fundamental, you're saying, than yeah, actually you, the medium that you're using. Well, you can, give, you can give a, a child, a six-year-old, let's say a, a, uh, a um, coloring book. <laughs> you're right. What like you, can right. Give, you can give a... a um, a child, a, a six-year-old coloring book, they can probably do a pretty good job in coloring. Yeah. But they probably cannot draw, but they yeah. can draw. They can color Bambi pretty good, right? Yeah. But, but the bigger skill is actually the drawing, is that well, what you Well, if you, if you want to, quote, unquote, go to extreme, want to be a good artist, I think drawing is, you have to know how to draw. You, you know, you, uh, one, unfortunately, a lot of, again, it all depends on what kind of, Art you want to go in to do, and obviously abstract part doesn't require a lot of drawing, but it's basic fundamental. I mean, you look at even even Picasso. You look at some early work, or even uh, uh, Dali, you know, Salvador Dali. Salvador Dali. You I look at the the early work. You know, they they do a lot of realistic paintings. Really? Yeah. And because uh, they didn't end up that way, neither one of them. No, but then again, once you once they then you can explore from there. Uh -huh. I mean, look, Da Vinci, Michelangelo, oh, you know, all amazing. those are great, great, great masters. Masters, yeah. And uh, so to me, that's, that is the way to go, personally, but. So are you saying that you, maybe this is a leap, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but are you saying that abstract art doesn't take as much Talent? Well, I don't think so. That's I think I think it does. I think art is a form. Of, is is the art abstract art is the art form by itself, and I think that too great. It takes great. Uh, it takes people a talent to do that also. Uh, like balance but, and but, 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 yeah, yeah, and let, things like that. Let's let's put it this way. I think in art. Um, anything is not art. You can put, throw them color together as an art form. And it all depends on what person, uh, person's preference. Yeah. And I just happen to, to um, prefer the realistic type of approach. Yeah. I but again, too, again, that's, that's really, it all depends on what people. Well, now it seems a whole new genre of digital art, which is interesting because some of that is, you know, scanned in and then mm -hmm. elaborated on. And, well, that's, you know. again, that too is a is a art it's, it's an art form. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I think it's uh, everybody. Do you have a favorite medium? Uh, I would say probably watercolor is probably what I like to do the best. Yeah. Uh, when you did your posters, were those They're all watercolors, watercolors, yeah. Those were watercolors. They're all watercolors. You need to bring one of these so we can see them. Which one there? Did, they rep did the posters represent Washington State or all 50 states? Uh, just Washington. Just Washington. Yeah. I would love to see one. Yeah, next time I'll... Do you have many left? Yeah, I have some, some left, yeah. Maybe you can sell me one. I'll keep my way nowadays. Let me just take a picture of it. I'll be happy with that. How's the... This is beautiful. It's very bright and happy. Do you have artwork all over your house? Mm-hmm. Do you? Yeah, yeah. Every room? Every room. I just throw them around. I, I just throw them in the drawer. When I get done, I throw them in the drawers. I don't even... 
Where's this one going? Uh, you don't know yet? Probably give my daughter. She likes flowers. Where, where does your family live? Well, we live in Tumwater, you know, Kathy and I. And then my daughter lives like four miles away. Oh, good. On, she lives in town? I thought your kids lived in California. No, no, no. David's uh, son moved to Minnesota. Sally lives in uh, up oh. Oliver Road. Oh, okay. And uh, so... So that old saying's true for you. A son's a son till he finds a wife, a daughter's a daughter all of her life. She lives near you? Yeah. But the son moved away. Well, I, t <laughs> I tell you, it's, uh, it's true. It's, uh, it's uh, nice to have. We're lucky we have both a boy. A, a, a live son close by. Son Is that Brady, the, the grandchild that yeah. lives in town? Yeah. We have a son and daughter to kind of so what I'm doing is, I can just, again, it's more like impressionistic, you know, I mean, mm. you can tell they are bouquet oh, of flowers. Oh, they look like flowers. Yeah, but they're not realistically, if you look at it, you don't really see, you know, you real flower. Do, but you're adding all those dots. You're not drawing straight lines. You're putting a lot of dots. Well, on. so keep it like loose. So it look like it's. Oh, okay. Softer. In, in, or yeah, instead of real tight, like you okay. don't see. You want to see a big ball of, of flowers. No, that's you true. Know, you want to see uh, kind of look, it look like it. Like got what move, Monet might do or something. It's got movements and I'll get. And Are I you going to draw the vase? I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Maybe you leave it. Leave it. The way oh, is we call really? it, we call it the unfinished bouquet. No, no, we're not going to call it. The I don't know how to do bouquet. the vase. I Give done. it to me. We got eight minutes. Left. I haven't. I, you have eight minutes to figure out what you're going to do. With that I haven't vase. done. I haven't done. I haven't done a. I don't know how to do the vase. Honestly. What are you talking about? You drew it in pencil. You just. I know, over but how it. do I do that? That's what I'm going to say. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, do you want me to finish it for you? You want to? No, not really. <laughs> I'd ruin it. Oh, somebody's got a nice close-up, so don't move it. Just don't move it. All right, so. I don't know who's doing that, but that's beautiful. So you think I should do a finished vase? So okay. Yeah, because they want to see a finished product. Right now, your vase is on my head. I mean, your flowers. It's like I've got a crown of flowers on my head. Yeah, you just keep working it, huh? Okay. Okay. How about your daughter's favorite color? Uh, I don't know what her favorite color is. Can I have a favorite color? Oh, there we go. Oh, see, I thought you were going to outline it. Now, does that bother you to touch that with your fingers? Isn't there a tool to do that with? Yeah, it's called a finger. Well, it just seems so, I'm sorry. It seems dirty. It seems like dusty. It is dusty. It is dustier yeah. than oil or. Yeah, it is dusty. I'm not a fan of dust, but I like the Oh, result. yeah, I noticed. I noticed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like I don't get along with dust. You don't ever get along with dust too well. But um, I like the effect of it. It's much brighter to me than. Um, than watercolor, although oil can be pretty bright, can it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty color that you picked to go with that. I like that. And then, would you put that on a table? Are you going to add? You're not going to add anything in the background, are you? What's that? A flower that fell out of the bouquet? Mm -hmm. It is really. Yeah. Very pretty. At least this is amazing because we talked probably five minutes before you started. You're going to have that done in as a 25 minute show. Five minutes. Left. So like it could be like they could be pedals. Have that. They could be pedals falling around. Beautiful. And then. Do you know? You know? May I make a comment? Mm -hmm. I don't know if the home viewers can see it, but you didn't color this vase in solid. It's 
Oh. Is that to show the shine or the roundness or? I'm too lazy. Oh, you're too lazy. <laughs> I, lo I like those close-ups. No, I don't no, know no. I getting them, but I love you're, them. You're right. It's, uh, like I said, not everything needs to be color. You can't leave, leave your imagination. You look at the flowers, you yeah. look closely, they aren't all color up. You know, you can see, see the black showing through. And it's interesting you chose to have, get the hand down. Oh, sorry. Oh, beautiful close-up. Thank you, whoever's got that. And that the flowers are actually at the bottom, too. No, oh, I'm going to move your, yeah, right, so they see that right there. He's got flowers at the bottom of the, is it a vase or a vase? What did you draw? Whatever. It doesn't matter. A vase, a vase. It's a vase. You get, you get another one here. Beautiful. Right? Interesting choice to have those colors down there. And then how do you frame, do, do you frame all pictures the same, just slap glass on them with the frame and a mat? Or? Yeah, you mat it and I don't know. There's Think, no special way to frame a pastel? Well, you, you should put a mat on it so the glass and don't uh, rest on the pastel directly. Oh, really? I don't, yeah. In fact, oh, all, all, because it would smudge more than yeah, the all the, color wood? Or well, plus the moisture, you don't want moisture to get under. Oh. You Does, know, like all the, all the color, everything else we put a mat on, any kind of paper. paper. So that's true with all pictures? Just a paper, paper type. Uh, oil just, painting, you don't require that. Oil painting is different. Right, because oil is more a board. But like you would take a shot of that sunflower. Oh, that's Remember, Remember that, that sunflower? Yeah, but look at what they're showing. I know. Right well, now. you would take a shot of the sunflower. That's the one we did last time we were here. The sunflower. But I want to talk. Did you? Oh, now they're showing the sunflower. Remember, that's the one we did last time. You did that here? Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> you did that on our show? Yeah, I think so. You did well, that right well, here. Well, let me think. Show? Let me think. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, that, maybe it was someone else's show. Maybe I was dreaming. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Alex, you did that right here in this studio. Yeah. And the, is that also? Um, pastel. That's pastel also. Yeah. It's not as bright as this pastel. No. Why? Uh, maybe did, you think of more color in here. Well, <laughs> did you what, did you start on a black mat or a brown mat? Red. The oh, uh, red. Weddy. So that's a, the sunflower's a pastel. Yeah. How interesting. No, yeah, I did it here last time. Remember? Yes, I remember. Okay. <laughs> How well. Yeah. Yeah. What was that one that they had up for a few minutes? I'm not even seeing it now. Oh, the, that's a tree. It that was like a tree? Yeah. Was that watercolor? Yeah, we did that. I brought that some time ago. We did that at the, that was the, in the Squally, I think, at the tree. Oh. Like. Do you ever buy other artists' works? I can't afford them. <laughs> oh, there it is. See, it's back up. Yeah. What is that? Explain that. That's Nisqually, like the Nisqually Delta? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh, and that's watercolor. Yeah. Uh, why did you choose that tree? I thought it would be interesting. It is interesting. Yeah. So that's the flat part with the tide out? Mm-hmm. Is that tree still there? I think so. Is it? Because they lost a few trees. The eagles like to sit on those and red-tailed hawks. They like those trees. So, well, this is beautiful. You know what? We're going to be wrapping up in about a minute. Okay, yeah, so. You got it in a camera shot. You just pulled it out of the shot. Oh, Can we turn it? What one, would happen? One, one quick one here. I'm sorry I'm being so bossy. No, but I'm no. trying to get your work. I wonder what would happen. Here. There you go. What happens if we turn it that way? No, we uh, oh, this no, way. no, no. We took it out of the shot like that. Okay. That is what Alex did in less than... 25 minutes? Less than 20 yeah, minutes. that's a good shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's pastels. And uh, it's, it's a little bit distorted because of the angle we're holding it at. But if we hold it straight I up. think it looks much better on the screen than on the, on the paper itself. Oh, much, it does. That's well, much brighter. Look how bright that is. Oh, please. So um, what an awesome crew we have. We're so fortunate to have TCTV and the facility here and the volunteers working on this show. We want to thank all the people that helped put this program together. Alex, I want to thank you. Thank you. You're such a humble man, gifted with great talent. And <laughs> thank you for joining us. Thank you. And don't blow that dust at me. Please. Oh, that's right. I'm anti-dust, but it's gorgeous. It's anyway. absolutely gorgeous. If I do pastels, I'll have to use rubber gloves. Anyway. Okay. Do some people do that? Rubber gloves with pastel? I don't think so. Good. <laughs>
So thanks so much for joining us. We're on Saturday mornings at 1030. And um, we are on Sundays at 730 in the evening and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. So tune in sometime. Thank you again for joining us. And thanks to this incredible crew. Bye. Bye. Okay. They fall.